Hi, good morning everybody. <clears throat> Excuse my uh, voice, it's uh, I have a gain over a cold. Uh, just uh, thanking you for watching this quick video introducing my uh, 68 Mustang that's for sale. Uh, everyone's been asking me questions about it. Uh, we can get some videos in there, so I'm gonna do my best. I actually <clears throat> was hoping that somebody would be here to help me uh, not shake the camera so much, but you know, to give you a good preview of what's going on in, in this car. It's a 68 Mustang. Um, I've had it oh, about 14 years, I believe, since 2002. 12 years. And uh, according to the pink slip, I thought it was longer. But uh, so I've always had it. You know, it was just a uh, paint job's about that old. I've always kept it in the garage or in the storage. I love the car, but. I need to move on to some other stuff. So, anyways, here's the uh, pictures of the. There are some nicks and scratches on it. You may have seen on the hood. You know, this this just cracked recently. Um, I will start it right now, so you can see how how it starts being cold. It's 7:30 in the morning here in uh, Southern California, so I would say it's a good 60 some odd degrees. I should have checked. It's very straight, the car is straight, no rust. Tires are brand new, I just, I just put them on maybe three weeks ago. <coughs> Under the hood, always hasn't been cleaned, so you can see what's going on. The 351 Windsor, Edelbrock 650, recently re re rebuilt. Again, I didn't clean the inside so folks can see exactly what's going on. The car was washed yesterday, and I drove it all day long yesterday. So uh, I did change out recently. The radiator I already had an aluminum radiator. I put a new aluminum radiator with a new fan with the thermostat sensor. So this is actually working a lot better because I I wanted to get rid of the, the clutch fan pulley. I also put a new water pump in there and uh, the starter. I'm not sure you can really see in there, but it is a newer style mini torque starter. So I, I got rid of the starter solenoid. This external is all built in now. Um, trying to make the car as reliable as possible, which it is. As if you're a Ford guy, you know what I'm talking about with the starter solenoids. They give they give some hassle once in a while. So going on into the car, Best view here. Again, apologies. I wish I had somebody with me to help. As you can see, the top is in new condition still. Cars all made to match. I recently took the radio out because I was going to put one that had a Bluetooth so I can listen to Pandora in here. So I just haven't gone back to put it back in. So, apologies. Here we go. Again, it's the first start of the morning. I will keep my feet, my uh, feet in view, so you can see my actions here, so you can give you an idea of how much trouble it is. <coughs> so, actually, start the car. So here we go. Pump it twice. 
go. So, again, it's a push start now because I changed the starter out. here I will uh, describe some of the things this car has I know there's a lot to list uh, I know that uh, on, the, on the ad there's, there's more things on there but it is uh, it's a 17 inch wheel car's been lowered uh, it's got power disc brakes in the front uh, runs really good manual steering uh, the it's got some flow masters in the back uh, making it sound real good T5 uh, it's a custom 9 inch, so uh, the shop uh, uh, you know, cut, the, cut the rear end and put a posi in the Detroit locker. A buddy of mine that built this said it will never break, and it hasn't for over 10 years. Uh, the 51 Windsor, uh, not too bad on gas considering the way these cars are. The 55 really helps it out with freeway and stuff. It runs really good, real smooth. Um, you know, come and just take a quicker look at it. You know, I'm sure you'll like the car. Anyone that really likes Mustang will, will appreciate how this one was built. Uh, everything was done you know, to my taste because I didn't see the car for a long time. But again, now I have kids and family and things change. So it's my place to let it go. Any questions, give us a call. I will also do a video of it uh, driving when I get somebody to hold the camera.